Getting students to master figurative language is essential. Identifying how and why authors employ figurative language in text will help them appreciate the nuances of language and give them an added tool to use in their own writing. Here's an activity to help your students get a better handle of figurative language. As always, links to all the materials are down in the description. In this document, you'll find a bit over 20 different types of figurative language devices sorted into categories like sound devices, metaphoric devices, ironic devices. Uh, if the 24 listed are too many for your students, simply eliminate any surplus devices that you don't think you'll need. For each term, I've listed a brief definition and an example. Right? For part one, Students will work collaboratively, so in groups or pairs, they'll read to make sure they understand the terms and come up with examples for each term and document them in the first column of boxes. Then students are going to work independently to individually come up with an original example for each of the terms in the second column, but this time they have two specific requirements. First. Uh, all examples must adhere to a common theme. I suggest they choose something that says something about themselves, like a favorite restaurant, TV show, sports, emotion, movie, whatever, something, right? So, for example, if um, they choose a theme of love, for alliteration, they might write, my heart hops for my heavenly honey holly, right? Or if their theme is Subway Sandwiches, for alliteration, they might say something like, I find $5 footlongs are fine for my family. Secondly, examples must be turned in creatively or non-conventionally, so not as a list on a piece of paper. For example, if your theme is love, you might put all of your examples in a box of chocolates or a heart-shaped piece of paper. Um, another example, using the theme of soccer, you might actually put all the examples on a soccer ball. Or if your um, examples are all about football, you might take a football field and put all the examples on the football field. All right. So here's some student examples. This, this one's about cats. Uh, and these are all ha having to do with gum, Pride Month, Sleep, Snickers, and my personal favorite, uh, Joe Exotic. Ooh, look! Cards! And hey, what's that, uh, what's that little red button down there? Thanks for watching.